sabi nga ng grandmother ko, ihulog mo siya pag hindi siya nabiyak. Hindi siya sa Nicholas. It must melt in your mouth. This great big story is inspired by Genesis. This is chef and food historian Aching Lillian. She's popular for her famous San Nicolas cookies recipe that was passed down by her ancestors. Tinuruan ako magluto ni Impo at early age, siguro mga dalawang taon, tatlong taon. The San Nicolas cookies were brought to the Philippines by the Spanish in the 1600s to solve an egg yolk dilemma the country faced. Mga simbahan at gusali, no, buildings and churches, ay ginawa sa ginamitan nila ng puting iklog kasi walang simento noon eh. So nagkaroon po tayo ng malaking problem that time na which was uh, how to make use of the excess egg yolks. Spanish nuns began to teach local women recipes to solve their issue. Isa sa lesson nila ay ang panesilyo de San Nicolas. Mostly egg yolks po ang, ang, ang ingredients niya. The cookies were named after an Italian saint, St. Nicholas of Tolentino, and are said to possess the saint's healing powers. Na ang, ang belief ng namin, ng lahat tayo, na pag may sakit ka, kakain ka nun, pag may calamity, pag may whatever na ano. While the cookies remain popular today, for Aching Lillian, these cookies also represent her past. Eh, yung mga molds ko nanggaling sa mga relatives namin. Uh, yun nga, sabi ko kanina, parang identification. Ang pinakamatanda kong molds na nandi dito ay yung galing sa aking great grandmother that is more than almost 300 years na yun. Because of their rich history, it's important for Aching Lillian to pass down her baking skills and preserve the tradition of making these cookies. Kaya hindi ka mukha ng pag-bake natin, you must be very accurate in your measurement. Ang San Nicolas is more by feel. Kasi hindi ako naging maramot, no? lahat ng nalaman ko, na-share ko lahat, nakatulong malaki, siguro out of gratitude, uh, siguro at, at parang history behind, parang hindi mamamatay mabubuhay.